so, so th these people that, that believe these things, that believe in all of this, uh, th they, are, they are much below you. They, they are beneath you. You are above them. Uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are very close to animals that are led to, to slaughter. You are above them and they need to do, be dominated. When you talk to these people and they say, now it's my turn to talk. What, what I say is, no, it's not your turn. You have to talk less than me. Because what you say has less value than what I'm saying. So you have to talk less. You have to listen more. Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, I probably will lose some subscribers because of this video. People that simply refuse to progress along the five stages of grief cycle. Um, this does relate to why I made the video that will be coming later today on Free Voice. The purpose of this video is not to tell you about Free Voice. This is its own independent video, but it's related to what's coming on Free Voice. I just looked as a Friday morning. Rob hadn't loaded it yet. I will remind you to check it out. He probably will load around noon or so. And an email should go out to those that want to know hobocode.com. So, um, the five stages of grief in terms of when a loved one dies, of course, can be applied to the rea our understanding of, of the world and the reality itself. Uh, I touched on this about a year and a half ago. The little, what is it, an acronym it's called? I put it, DABDA. DABDA. Uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. Okay. Now, this video is also a little bit in response. I won't mention the name of the channel. I won't mention the name. I will link to her video if she um, wants me to in the future or even come back and put a comment into this video. But in terms of understanding where reality is going, we have my advice is we need to to progress to the end of the five stages of grief stage that's why when Mayor de Blasio comes out and does what he does it just makes a complete mockery um, saying those that go down and get it those that go down and rent the movie we have fries here we have fries from Shake Shack it was and you know my, my take on that I know a lot of people in the truth community will say that ridiculous presentation which I show you um, on the video coming up on free voice and I assume the roles of those 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 ridiculous characters that come through my Mac I look at a character how weird it is and say what would the personality be so going through the five stages of grief to the reality itself you don't ever get to full acceptance of course that's it's not the same as losing a loved one and even losing a very 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 close loved one um, you never get to complete acceptance so we're always going to be in in that hybrid between depression acceptance but at least we're down towards the end of the scale or you should be I, I'm telling you this is where I am I believe you need to be if you're in the anger phase there's no point in it okay let me I'm just gonna I, I'm, I'm it's gonna take a while to get to get into this there's no point in it and I'll explain why but when you get down to the end, well, if I'm going to make a video trying to do my best to 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 trash the mayor, I mean, what 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 do I have left in my arsenal if I'm at the end of the uh, if I'm if I'm progressed down the end of the stage? Am I going to get all angry at at De Blasio for you? When you look at the way he's making this presentation. He's mocking us, and and you know, again, it does seem like a complete mockery. But you know where, where I'm coming from is the presentation per for some reason how the reality itself needs to operate has to be ridiculous. It's not always just complete mockery. Like there's I think there's too much of this community that just pull that same old first grade response. And they do mock from time to time. Again, whenever I say something, people will latch onto it and then they won't give me any credit for even giving the other side any, any sort of credence. I, I agree they mock. I'm just saying in most of the time, it's not just that they're 
Mayor de Blasio is saying, should I give a real presentation and, and make it seem like we're interested in people's health and we have incentives if you go down and get it? Or no, no, just mock them because they'll never figure it out anyway. <laughs> and they just laugh. I don't think it's that. Okay, I don't know metaphysically exactly what's going on here. But this is some sort of illusory environment. As it takes over here, it the, the, the clown show then increases. It's a yin-yang. I don't know exactly how it works. I'd like to know how it works. We'll never figure it out while we're alive in this avatar. But it's not always just, oh, they, de Blasio knows no one will figure out. He's just going to have fun with it and mock everybody. It's not that. Okay, they do some of that. But it's not that simple. It's not that simple. It's, an, it's, a, it's a facet of how reality itself needs to operate. As they bite and take pieces over here, the clown show piece has to increase so those of us that are, that are going to wake up into the true nature of ourselves can see it and then progress. It's much more that than they're just getting off on mocking us. So I have two choices when I, if I'm going to, by the way, for anybody that's real interested in this, this is a U.S. Open t-shirt. They're tennis balls. Um, it's not a 666. It's U.S. Open 1999. You know, somebody gave me this t-shirt when they went to the U.S. Open. You want to just read into the t-shirt? Oh, verse 666. Go ahead. Uh, that type of thinking, please find other channels. Um, so um, I know there's several people that are trying to figure that out and, and looking at, oh, is that a 1999? That's a 666 whatever you know no my my father didn't give it to me when he went up there to uh, flushing meadows or whatever it was 20 some years ago whatever you know these people need to get lost um so i have two choices i can just simply scream and rant and that is what is that going to do for for me it's not going to do anything for me it's not going to wake anybody up okay that the, the the reason i've gotten to the end of the sliding scale of the, the five dabda, dabda, De depression, no, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. The reason I'm down towards the end is because I see that human beings themselves have changed. We live in a gigantic Mandela effect. The world morphs, it changes into something that we don't recognize, that we don't identify with, because we're back here, standing on a bank somewhere. It's, it's going down the river, the river of the ship of fools and the river of insanity. We don't identify with it. We're somewhere else, because we've planted that anchor, which is, which is exactly what we're supposed to do in this lifetime. We, we were all at some point in our lives, most of us, going down, floating down the river on rafts, too, having a good old time behind the ship. Throw me another, uh, you know, pina colada in a mason jar. That's what they're called, mason jars. It wasn't a code symbol, you know, with a little lid, okay? Throw me another pina colada and a, and a donut, and we're just being dragged along behind the ship of, of fools. We all were there, but we said, this is, wait a second, what's going on here? And even without understanding what's going on, we said, well, each, our little tube or whatever, we have an anchor. We're going to just throw anchor. We're not going along anymore. And that's kind of what, what's going on. But when you see human beings, the, the whole reality is a Mandela effect that shifts, that, that morphs, that molds, it, it flows into something different. It's probably always been like that. We didn't notice it probably because we float along with it. When you're flowing along with it, you don't notice it. But... The human beings themselves, I would say human being 2.0, it's human being 2000.0. We've stopped the, whatever the process was in us that was going along with it, going along with it, going along with it, going along. We threw anchor down. Are we holding a, a branch on the side of the bank? And we, we got up on the bank. Everybody else is... So human, the human being themselves has changed. So what's the point of getting angry at it? That human beings themselves have morphed into what the reality expects of them. Okay, I'm sure when I go into a grocery store, whatever, and, and you know I've talked about how it is here, how it's been outside of Philadelphia here. I'm sure there's several people in there that don't want to wear a mask. I'm sure there's several people that are like us. But remember, like I've said many times, most people have morphed into where the reality is going. They're complete believers in it. So what would be the point of getting angry at it? The only thing to, to, to do is, is, is the middle ground between complete 
end of the grief cycle, the complete acceptance is to become almost like, like uh, my friend, our friend Christoph on his channel. Become a, it's an arrogance. Where it's an arrogance. I should play his quote sometime. It's funny as hell. It's basically it's funny as hell. It's an arrogance. It's saying these people are beneath me. Okay, at least that's much more healthy than getting. Think of it as a. I've said months ago. Think of it as a, a pet. As an animal, as a child, as a somebody, a Forrest Gump, before he um, even gained his worldly wisdom, Forrest Gump is a you know just meeting Bubba for the first time. Are you going to be all upset at him? Or are you going to say this is per- this this not, person isn't even on the same level as me? That's where you are spiritually. There's no reason to get angry at it. You can anger would serve a purpose in a complete tyrannical situation where the people themselves know they're in a pen, know they're in prison. Everybody um, in, in, the, in the camp wants to get out. Everybody knows there's a mach- machine gun turrets. It doesn't help if everybody in the camp is like, you're saying, well, you, these guys, are, we can't leave here. There's machine gun turrets. Have you noticed the barbed wire? And everyone's like, no, that's a design element. It, it's, they don't see it. What's the point? You can't get you could get you could get angry if you were in a in a in a camp and be like we're going to rush the gates. We're going to we're going to flave a flave bum rush the gates and we're going to do but people are like, "Well, you've seen movies where they don't what is it? It's a it's a scene from Game of Thrones, I guess, where where um who's the guy that gets his willy cut off? You know, he was never a he I was going to say Lannister. Yeah, I, I, it's come, you know, the 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 northern of this Starks, I guess. He was never a true Stark. He came from that fishing community or the or the or the sailors. Um he got his willy cut off and then they totally brainwashed him and they reconfigured his mind, that evil little bastard. And then when his sister came from the it's it's coming back to me, the Iron Islands, his sister came to rescue him, he was like, I don't want to go with you. This is a he wanted to stay where the person had, had tortured him for months, completely you know, did every abusive thing in the world to him. You know, whatever the syndrome, syndrome is, where you just love your um, is it Stockholm syndrome, love your captives, and but with with um, with the guy in Game of Thrones, it was times a thousand. They cut his willy off, and he wouldn't go with her. You know, so the people again, we're in this. We're if we're in Shawshank, and we're gonna we're gonna you know, people are like, I want to stay. They they don't want any part of where we're coming from. They think we're crazy for even putting it out. So, you have when people people will call me. Well, Matt, you you're you're still you're no you know you don't you're not doing marches like Mark Devlin in in the UK. You're not fighting the system. You're a wimp. Call me what you want. If it you know see what kind of a wimp I would be if I thought it meant anything. It's if it be one thing. If it was a, if you had an ultimate tyranny here, you know a tyranny that was just. We do have a tyranny. Obviously, I know that. You know, this isn't my first rodeo in the truth. We have we have an ultimate tyranny, but the people, a large swaths of people, eighty to ninety percent of the entire population, which could be billions of people, don't either. They either don't see it, or they love it. They love it. So what's the point of getting angry? If you're going to get angry, you need all these people with you. You would need at least a, lar- a good percentage, 30, 40, 50 percent, to be like, we need to bum rush the gate. They're like, what gate? Don't you see the barbed wire? That's a design element. Oh, the, that, that, isn't there a guy with a machine gun up there keeping you in? No, no he's the guy that goes down and meets the, the mailman. He gets the mail for us. Matt, what's your problem? They can't see it. So at the very, don't get angry. At least just take Kristoff's advice. Just be be arrogant. Kristoff says, "It's so funny. I gotta play it sometime. I might play it at the end of this video. I'm gonna. It's so funny. I'm not laughing at Kristoff. I just I just love his approach. Of course, his I don't think his approach would work on anybody. But even normies, they don't they won't really abide by what he's saying. He he's saying, "You're going to li- you're, We're going to have a conversation." Kristoff says. But I'm going to speak far more than you are, because I'm above you, and my opinion is of more value than yours. And Kristoff says, that's what I'm going to tell people when we're about to have a conversation. And I'm like, I laugh my ass off as Kristoff, I love it, I love it, but that ain't going to work. It's the, the brainwashed normies even more arrogant, 
I have family members I that we have back and forth about the the renting of the Axe and Jackson, and they they'll do nine words for every one word that I could get in. They don't. If I said my opinion is more valuable, they would think I'm absolutely out of my mind. They would. They think I'm. They think just the opposite, of course, that I've lost my way. I'm crazy, and that I, I don't even have an opinion anymore that's valid because I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist. But I'll I'll play. I'll I'll find a soundbite from Kristoff. It's so funny. I'm not laughing at you, Kristoff. I love it. But see that I'm I'm saying we should we need to use it at least use it. No, don't tell people they're. I'm not going to, when we speak, you're not going to even be able to say one word for every my two because you're, what you're saying is of no value. But believe that. Think it. They, they are, it's not their time, these people. Okay, it's not their time. Whether, no matter what you believe, if they're going to do another thousand samsaras or they're going to do, uh, they're, they're just completely sucked into Saturn Moon Matrix or whatever it is, you could say they're young souls. It's, it's, don't hate them. It's not their time. They got a lot of work to do. Think we're close. Or many of us here, we 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 won. We're we're close. We're or we've or we've won. It's not their time. Okay. So don't get a bunch of. I've said this in. I don't know if it's in the in the book of a bunch of ants. Just at, what is that? All these ants out. And I went in my backyard and there were ants and little tiny signs. Mad in this, and mad in this uh, house is is this. He's that. He's he, all these false accusations. Little ants marching. Would I care? You have to think of it like that. You're so far above, as Christoph would agree with. You're so far above the sp- spiritual progression, which is all that ever is, all that ever was, all that ever will be. You're so far above for anything that matters. There's no point in getting angry. And the other thing that the, the anger does is it, it is an outward show of attachment to this place. Uh, yeah, we, all of our rights being taken, no freedoms, can't do this, can't do that, people being told, it's, it's saying, you know, ah, you're, you're doing, if, the more anger that comes out, it's like, well, you're not, you're putting so much stock into this world, into this existence. Somebody that would get really, really angry, I don't think truly under, has a full understanding that this is just a tiny little train stop. It's a joke. You wouldn't get... It's like literally if the train, if it was a special train that had to pull into the station, and it literally was a special train that it could make a stop and, you know, I have to make it realistic for a train, five seconds. But but in terms of the, the cosmic nature of what we're going through now, it's like a train pulling in for one one millionth of a millisecond. But it's a train, so say five seconds. Now during that five seconds, you know, the conductor says, I'm sorry for your inconvenience, but this is going to happen, that's going to happen, this is going to happen, we're going to pull the luggage out, put the luggage back in, we're going to have to come and check your tickets. But it's only, you'd be like, it's five seconds. Like, as long as they're not going to physically come and like tie a rope around my neck and try to jack me up into the luggage compartment, well, what can they? There's nothing that could be done in five seconds that would really bother me, right? It's you, you know, it, it's, you're not going to be angry at anything the train is going to do at that stop if the stop is only five seconds, and equating it to life, it's it's five one hundredths of a trillionth of a millisecond. So if you the more anger that comes out. It's actually it's it's an absolute outward showing of attachment to this life. Of course it is. Why would you be angry? You know. So, guys, it, it's just um, you know you call me names that I don't. You know I'm not gonna. I'm at the, depre- the depression acceptance. Of course I would. I would. I would want elements of the way the world was. I, I know the tyranny's always been here, but but. Um, if if I w- I would want the way the world was, take me back, take me back. But I would not drop. I would only take that if I if I if I did not have to drop my understanding of how the world works, what it's designed to do to a human being, and what I really am. So so because we can't have one without the other, I wouldn't go back. So if I if I admit if I willingly admit I wouldn't go back, then you're in a better situation now than we were in. Because it's it's this is a journey for yourself, then why would you be angry? If you want to go back, then you're saying I want to go back, and I didn't learn anything over the last fourteen 
or 15 months. Then if you want to go back, I could see why you're a little angry. But most people overwhelmingly said, no, based on what I know about how the world works, what it's designed to do to a human being and how and what it means about who I really am, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't trade that for anything. That might be something that we carry throughout all time. So of course people were like, I wouldn't go back. Well, if you wouldn't go back, what, what's there to be angry at? Okay, if I thought um, I could go march through, I know there's a lot of people in the UK. Their, their tyranny there has been much, 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 much worse than in the, in the United States, or the way they're going about it there with the, like Melbourne, the complete lockdowns, and and people ultimately are going to get fed up. And if, if I thought that would do anything, of course I'd participate in every march, every walk. But maybe that that that's, there's truth drops and truth that weaves through this reality. How about the walks? for the diseases. Well, how has that helped? You know, is it is it the reality itself telling you that all these walks and marches and walk for the cure and walk for this disease and walk for that disease and wear pink and all that, it's like it's basically reality. Nothing will ever come from those walks or for the disease itself, of course. We know the whole the whole reality is set up to to have nobody cured and um, they don't want that many people to die, at least the medical system, because it's the sick that 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 makes all the money, at least from the perspective of the biotechs and the pharmaceuticals. So, no cure, no walk is ever going to do anything. So it's like, well, okay, well that's showing me no, well, no march against marching against or taking my fleet of my all my buddies with their fleet of pickup trucks down to march against Washington, or marching through Trafalgar Square, you know, it's not going to do anything against the power structure all right if it if i if i thought for a second it would be like a pied piper effect and everybody would come rushing out of their houses to join us and the march would become millions and millions but i don't see that in my fellow human beings guys i believe we live in a giant mandela effect when i if if 50,000 or 500,000 people marched in the uk that's great if i thought that could be a catalyst that would then get millions and millions and millions in the UK to be like, yes, that's let's we need to march for for free. If that if I thought my fellow human being was capable of that, I'd be all for it. I don't recognize my fellow human being. All right, I don't I don't most as I've said most people, you know most people still hate the marchers. They are completely on the ship floating down the river of insanity. They're, they've molded into whatever the new reality wants them to be. So it's, the again, people in the prison yard that don't recognize they're in a prison yard. Getting them all fired up and uh, to get pissed off at their, at their guards and their jailers that they love, well, what's that going to do? <sighs> okay, my, my point's pretty, pretty clear. So in terms of the video on, on Free Voice... Do you want me, is it just going to be, what do I have at my disposal? All right, me just screaming and yelling, and I probably could make a, a, a pretty compelling argument if I was angry and upset to those that want to be angry and upset. They'd probably like Matt to do that. That would feed them what they want. They, they haven't gone down all the steps of the grief cycle. All I, if, if I'm at the end of the grief cycle, depression merge with acceptance. It's never going to be complete acceptance, and I'm just love McDonald's loving this. Of course I'm not loving this. Don't put word, people put words in my mouth. I, I wouldn't go back is all I'm saying. I wouldn't go back because I, I have a, just a complete understanding of how the complete how, how the world works, how the reality operates, and what it's designed to do to us. Wouldn't go back. So what's at my disposal? Comedy, comedy. You know that that has a chance to get through to somebody who's on the fence more than me just screaming and ranting about Mayor De Blasio. Comedy. And he's like, it's, yeah, he's, you know, I didn't, somebody seeing the comedy is saying, he really made himself into a look like an absolute jerk. If the, if the presentation of this was real and a real mayor or governor really cared about the health of people, this presentation would be far more serious. He wouldn't be pushing fries. Look at the, when you, and he picks up a burger, he's like, when you think of this, think of, I can't even say the word, think of V, think of action, think of renting the movie. He says the whole word. When you think of this, tasty burger think of it like what like and most again most people aren't going to see that 
they're not going to they're just going to think it's just he's just doing the best he can probably was put on the in front of the camera at the last minute has to do the shake shack promotion didn't come yeah it didn't come off right but you know he probably didn't have a chance to prepare and he, he's just doing the best he can most people see it that way at least the a lot of truthers at least would say well that's it's not a real presentation it's a, it, even if they say it's a mockery i appreciate that it is to a degree a mockery but there's more to it than that at least they see it's not a real presentation from a real mayor it's something else and um you know if i can make if somebody's on the fence and and it just doesn't sit right with them but they don't know why it doesn't sit right if i can then mock it and make it look like an absolute uh you know three ring circus then maybe maybe somebody can wake up to that but all all i have at the end at the end of the grief cycle which i'm c- close to the end you know i'm i the comedy is what i have at my disposal not screaming and, and, and ranting about mayor d um you know a- anyway so i was going to say one other thing um i was going to say comedy's at my disposal blah 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 i talked about that uh, the need to not get upset relates re- relates and roots right back to attachment, attachment to this place. Um, you know, I don't think I don't think you can be truly angry and detached. I don't. I, I don't. A guy, look, a, a, you know, what comes into my head? A, you know, a guy, a, a girlfriend breakup. Uh, you know, a million examples like this, and guy's getting all he sees her with another man or uh you know not that there's anything wrong with that I mean, it's, it would be more acceptable he sees her with another michelle obama and um you know the guy gets all upset because you know it was just a few months ago the breakup and uh, gets all upset well the, the anger he's not he's not that's attachment still to that girl or whatever new york politically correct you, blank with a g you want to insert ends with ender like ender's game you want to insert here um that's attachment getting oh, oh I'm gonna, yeah, look at look she's with that guy if you truly are at the end of the grief cycle you don't give a shit if she comes in with whoever barack on one arm michelle on the other it doesn't matter we can care complete acceptance i don't give a shit i didn't even know she was here that's that's not attachment not that i don't I don't like, I don't, Matt doesn't give a shit. See, people put words in my mouth. Matt says he doesn't give a shit about the way the world's going. Did I say that? Oh, there's also a weird, nasty streak that's come up through this truth community. I don't know where it's come from. I related to the, almost like the Q, the Q download. When we saw, we thought we were kind of special people that we didn't agree with everybody in this bucket over here it was a very big bucket we didn't agree there's there was more of like a hardcore conservatism and and q people and we did, we thought we were all kind of the same but then we basically thought, saw the same download that we we will will say you know liberals are on the download they can just keep voting for more and more of the same they never see the trajectory of government never changes and we saw it with the q people how there was this completely illogical false hope that some white hats were going to come in and save the day and even you know going into the last few weeks of the trump presidency they were still holding out hope and and then we thought that was insane and then after trump backed left the white house they still thinking that the unsealed indictments were coming and it, it i don't even know what's it's, it's just, to me i chalk that up uh to the, they're on some sort of the same download that ever that we accuse everybody else being. It's just a it's just a little f- different flavor. It's the conservative download, uh, you know. Whatever. I that's why I, it's because it's completely insane and illogical. You know, what are it going to be ten years from now, still waiting for Trump to come back with the indictments? Like what? So, um, but there, there's also uh, I hate you know again. It's just mad. It's a cop. I'll just keep saying download everything. Yeah, but I don't. There's no way to other way to explain it. I I agree. I admit I don't understand the mechanism. But there's some sort of nastiness that's going on. I think in inside or or more of at least a fragmentation inside what we call this truth community. We were all brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, but. It's not just the trolls coming after him. I'm not talking about that. There's, there's um, just some of the comments. Um, most comments, people are nice, but there's just even from certain people I recognize, like a, a nasty streak in certain comments. And 
I don't know. See if if you if you uh, you know, I, there's not a huge amount of evidence. It's more of a feeling, and I don't have a ton of examples. But when I let me let me put it to you this way, maybe maybe you'll agree. When I go to review comments, even when I had fifty thousand subscribers or forty thousand, that's a lot of people, a lot of commenters. I was always, of course, I, I still like looking at the comments as much as I can, but I never had like my guard up, like, oh, you know, what's going to be around the corner? What's going to be, you know, I've had to remove several people from the channel. It was more of like a, a much friendlier experience, you know. I always know that a troll will pop up here and there, but now it's a little bit different. It's like it just feels different, and um, you know, it, 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 this is the reality's goal is to just okay. If this bucket exists, then it can get can it get into the bucket and further fragment Q people, people that believe Trump's going to come back and save them. Just keep just keep fragmenting the truth community as much as possible, and. Um, I didn't mean to fragment anybody here. If I'm, I'm not trying to make enemies with anybody that's still in anger phase. I'm trying to get you to see that if you, if you, if you see that the world itself is moving along and morphing into a fluid reality, you don't have to necessarily agree that the world is a giant Mandela effect. If you see the world kind of morphing into something new and people, most people, going along with it, then. The, you know, then, and you're realizing certain things about how reality works and about yourself, and you admit you wouldn't go back to uh, an understanding that didn't exist in you 14 or 15 months ago. Then I'm, I'm just saying I'm not trying to create division. I'm saying, well, get past the anger phase because it's pointless. You know, if I thought it could do anything, I'd, I'd be all for it. What do you, what's it going to do? You know, deeply, it's not like the control structure is, is, is just, it's so deeply rooted. Go walk through Washington, D.C., the massive buildings, and they control banking. They control every single element of every single field of corporation, industry. They control, and, it, and if it was just that, it probably be worth fighting for. But most people are McDonald's loving it. There's uh, Pam's friend has a Dr. F t-shirt. He, she loves Dr. F. He's so cute. Most people are still like that. If most people, I would love it if they start jumping off the ship, which I don't expect because they've morphed their whole being into where the reality wants it itself and them to go. If, if they start jumping off, I'd be much more willing to revert back to the anger stage and, and, and actually fighting certain things actually could pay off. I don't see any evidence of that. In fact, it's just the opposite. Okay, now guys, there is a, you know, what do I have at my disposal? If I don't, if I'm offended by what Mayor de Blasio did, I have comedy at my disposal. So that is what will be uh, on free voice. And I'll say it again, um, and I don't mean to insult anybody, but I still get comments like, I don't know how to get there without the link. Like, what? It's like the web's new to, to the web isn't new. You just go. You can use www or not. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. There's these. I, I. There's still these comments. Like I can't get there without the link. What's the link? Or my link is in the hype. Sometimes I put a link in the description, and I don't know why. Google just doesn't give me a. A lot of times it doesn't give me a blue hyperlink. You just put in www. You type free voice. Type it out. Everybody, you should, you should, even on a phone, you should have a keyboard. And it's not .com, it's .io. It couldn't be any simpler. And I'm not going to be able to always make a video saying I've got, it just pop, you know, maybe as, as this evolves and free voice evolves, you know, pop over there a couple times a week. See if there's anything new. It's that simple. It really is that simple. And I'm not always going to be able to say if something's new is out there. Um, just type it in. Free voice. It's .io. Just Pop over there, see what's new. That's kind of what, the way we'll evolve this thing over time. Thanks, guys.